Hello and welcome to StatLab StatCrunch tutorials. I would be talking about a couple of things today. One is to sort your data. Two is to form them into bins and then forming your frequency histograms. Now the first thing I would like to do is this is my personal preference. You can totally skip this step but I like to sort my data so I do not miss the minimum or the maximum. So I'm going to go to data, sort, click, ascending order and compute. I like to put it in ascending order so I can see it and that's my data right there. So now I know my minimum is 65 and my maximum is 340. Now if I want to form my data into bins, I would select my column. I want to do the sorted one. You can select the unsorted one as well. My starting point is 65 so I'm going to go ahead and click 65 and I wanted five classes so my bandwidth would be the upper limit minus lower limit divided by 5 which is 55 and then I want the left end point so I'm gonna go ahead and click compute so I see that I have 65 to 120 65 to 120 the 120 to 75 so it's already bent for me now I'm gonna go ahead and graph histogram Hello and welcome to StatLabs.Crunch. Today I'm going to be talking about um, a couple of things here. First would be sorting your data. So let's go ahead and sort the data. Every time I see my data here, I would like it to be sorted. So I'm going to click data, sort, select it, and I always want it in ascending order. Voila, your data is sorted. Now if you want them to be, if you want to have um, a frequency histogram table then there are a couple of things you have to do you can simply go ahead and graph your frequency histogram but I would like to see it in a form of a table first and then graph it so I'm gonna go ahead and bin my data I'm gonna select my column you can select either one of them but I'm gonna select the sorted one and it starts at 65 and my bin width is going to be the upper limit minus the lower limit divided by the number of classes. I want to have five classes. So 340 minus 65 is 275 divided by 5 gives me 55. And compute. So once I have this, I would like to have a nice clean table. So what I'm going to do is stats, tables, frequency, bin, and I want frequency, relative frequency. You can pick whatever you want. And you're going to click Compute. And this is how you get a cleaned up table with your unsorted data. 65 to 120. And if you always want to have add more, you can simply go ahead and add more. I, could, I would just go ahead and add a cumulative frequency as well. And I click Compute. And here is your cumulative frequency column. So however you want it, you can go ahead and do that. Now, if you want to go ahead and have a graph, then I would go to histograms. You could pick the sorted or the unsorted, it's the same. Remember my starting point was 65, my bin width was 55. And I'm gonna click compute. And here's your histogram. And when you see that from 65 to 120, your frequency is nine, and that's exactly what it is here. And from 120 to 175 is 11. So both ways you will be having your frequency histogram, but this is as a graph and this is in a table form. I like to see it in a table form first and then I would like to go ahead and graph it. And if you want to change this frequencies to your relative frequencies, all you have to do is go back, click relative frequency and compute and it's going to give you relative frequency. So you go to your options, edit, I'm going to go back to frequency again and you can also put in your median and mean as well and compute and here it gives you the mean and median. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.